Good afternoon, Crafty Peeps. I'm so excited to share my new project with you. This is for CraftyCity.com, which is also Shabby Paper Hub on Facebook. And if you have any projects that you want to share from purchasing from CraftyCity.com, that Facebook group is Shabby Paper Pub with a P. So anyway, I'll have all of those in the comments and in the about box below. But I wanted to share with you my... Um, cute little project that I made and the idea behind this was is to have a little bit of storage on my desk with these small little file folders that I used out of the kit that I was sent. This was the Lush kit using um, Lemon Craft and um, some dyes. So, and the gorgeous flowers she sent me and thank you Becky Dillon for sending me these cute little feet. I am just going to pull this out real quick so that you can see this. So I did the inside of the box. I did the sides because you're not really going to see the bottom because obviously you're going to have stuff in here. Okay. So I did the sides and I just love how it turned out. Let me, there we go. Is that not cute? I love the musical paper. This lemon craft paper was just absolutely shabby gorgeous. Um, and another one was my, uh, not mine, uh, was the uh, square pattern in here. Almost looks like a quilt. Love that. Okay, so here on the front, um, I used a couple things from my own stash, but mostly this was from the kit. Okay, um, love all the little laces. And I cut out this picture frame. And then I used actually like a square die cut that I have and just laid it on top because I'm not really good at um, fussy cutting, especially squares or circles. I don't know why that is, but anyway. And then here is that beautiful die. And let me show you real quick which die that was that I used. And it came in the kit, which makes it easy for me. So you have these little butterflies here and then this little banner of butterflies. And then you have these extra ones that you just kind of layer on top. So I think it turned out so cute. Okay, so let me put that back in the box. But um, this little knob is a Prima knob. And I'm not sure if Archana sells these in her store, but I'm sure she does. Look at all these gorgeous roses that came in the kit. And um, these little leaves right here. I love these little, I think they call them flare. Love that. Um, and, of course, this was for my stash. And then these little beads. But, um love 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 this little kit okay so i'm going to show you each one of these folders um using the 12 by 12 paper pad so you get a 12 by 12 and then um you also get a the 6.6 6, which i still have several sheets of this left which i'm going to be making um more projects with and i will share those with you but let me just stick that back here so um i just kind of layered one of the um this is like one of the ephemera sheets that came in there. Um, loved that. Um, it also came with these little wooden um, dies right here. Not dies. How would you say? Chipboards or I don't know. Wooden pieces really. Here's the flare. So I have like one of those left. And then um, she also sent a sheet of cut apart butterflies. Love those. Um, but anyway, I just basically took... Um, the paper and I cut it in half by six and then I'm going to give you the measurements here because this is going to be super easy for you guys. Okay. So, um, you're going to use your 12 by 12, cut it at six and then you will cut it at, and let me just double check here. Let me see if I can get one that is not, I believe it was nine and a quarter. Okay. Nine and a quarter. And you score it at um, four and three eighths, okay? And then you get this. It looks so cute. I just did my rounded punches. And I basically took a file folder and all I did was kind of mimic that and then cut it out myself. So, and then I used my distress. Um, Prima Edger to give it that scruffy, shabby look there. So that's one of them. But uh, I'm just loving how this turned out. She also sent us um, 
of these little beads right here, flat back pearls. Again, here's another frame with a heart. I went ahead and popped it up, cut out one of the butterflies. Love how that came out. And um, she did send us some laces. And I did use some laces from previous kits too. But you have plenty of laces to work with, let me tell you. And then she sent these cute little dealies right here, these little pins. And it came with the little beads on there and everything. Love that. So here is another one of the decorative chipboards, which I'm going to be using. That came in the kit as well. I'll be using these on a another little project I'm going to make with my 6x6 six six papers that I have left. So I really love, love, love this. So to make this, I basically used almost pretty much all of the 12x12 12 12 papers. I even added in some of my own um, papers. Um, this little wooden chipboard is mine, but the rest is from the kit. And this is just mine for my stash. And then they also, she also sent me some of these little cut aparts here. Love these. This is from my stash right here. And then on the inside, let me see what I put in here. Okay, so this is some of my um, laces and stuff that she had sent me. And then this is mine. And then I cut out one of the little itty bitty ones. But I really love how this turned out. I want to kind of go through this a little bit faster. But I really love how this turned out. This is just, you know, regular old piece. And I just put some of my laces left over that she sent me to put them in there and here's some more so whatever I don't use I can use it on my next project and I keep this with my what I call quote unquote shabby chic projects again I just did some fussy cutting and pop this up and then here's some of my leftover seam binding and then again now like I said any of these wooden words those are mine and this Big Pearl is actually from my stash, but I love all of this. Again, I did another one. Some more little laces that I have left over. More little cut aparts that she sent me, and then I put this lace up here. Here's the little banner of the butterflies. I love that. And I can just kind of, I should have put this one up in the front, but Anyway, I'll just keep going. More of my little cut aparts. Just love how this came out. And um, I'm going to put my embossing folders in here as well so that I have them handy dandy because I haven't been using them and I want to use them. So if I have them on my desk or close to me, I will use them. Here's another one with some more of the laces. And then again, another pop up piece right there. And this is nothing. But anyway, so some of these don't have anything in them. Again, see, here's one of my embossing folders. I meant to put more of them up here. But if I have some of the dies that I use the most, I can put that in there. I popped up a little butterfly, and I actually gave it some antlers on that particular one. But anyway, let me just kind of give you the overall effect. I love how it turned out. I just can't stop saying that. I'm sure y'all are sick of hearing me say I love how it turned out, but I really do. Um, I love Shabby Chic, and I love making Shabby Chic projects. So anyway, I hope you all have a wonderful and fabulous day. And if you would love to see a tutorial for this, I did make the box as well as the um, file folders, although I gave you the dimensions for that. I can show you how I did it. So anyway, I hope you all have a wonderful and fabulous day. Just don't forget to um, subscribe if you haven't subscribed, and leave a comment down below. And also... Definitely don't forget to visit our China store, www.craftycity.com, to get your most amazing shabby chic papers ever. Bye, y'all.